So here we have the Ford Echo Sport. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. On the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. The fuel gauge is in the middle at the bottom, and above that, you can see the trip computer, which includes the total miles of this car. They are 26,689. You can change the information displayed there by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. And above that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, and we're, in, of course, in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we have cruise control on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls on the left-hand side, including voice activation for the phone in the middle just here. That is, of course, once you paired the phone up, and that is done by hitting the phone button in the center and then following the instructions that come up on the screen just there. We're going to close that for the moment. Uh, so on the main screen, you can access your radio. You'll see we've got FM uh, radio. We also have AM. Keep pushing the button and you'll get round to the FM uh, setting again. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player. Uh, this car also has uh, the ability to stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, which you can see just there. Uh, auxiliary, auxiliary input and USB input as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. Main volume for the stereo is just here. We have deadlock so you can lock the car doors from the outside and the hazard warning lights, of course. And then below that, climate control. So you can adjust the uh, temperature in the car, the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And then the air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again, or hit auto. Uh, that button just here, when we hit it, uh, you'll see that it will take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain this temperature. Uh, you can hear it doing it as well as seeing, do it, uh, seeing it happen, of course. Uh, any manual adjustment, will override also straight away and you can put it back on your own settings here. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have a 12 volt charging socket and the auxiliary and USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.